Okay. I'm just gonna say right now, I was actually really, really shocked when I saw that I actually got questions. Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little get ready with me slash Q&A video. Disclaimer, I got this from Amber, Amber Greaves. She does these videos on her channel all the time and she just posted a new one the other day and it made me think about how I really wanted to do another Q&A on my channel. I asked you guys to send me questions on Instagram. I'm just gonna say right now, I was actually really, really shocked when I saw that I actually got questions because I've tried doing a Q&A like, twice before this and no one sent questions. I'm a flop. I was very excited when I saw that people actually asked me questions so I'm gonna answer them. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also another disclaimer if you haven't go watch my last video because there is a little giveaway in that video. So yeah go watch my past videos. Go subscribe if you haven't and let's just get right into this. If you guys hear slight noise in the background, don't be alarmed. That's literally Raven's Home playing in the background. That is the next show that I'm binge watching on Disney Plus, so yeah. So I was at H&M the other day, as usual, and I got myself yet another Ariana hoodie, and this is honestly my favorite piece of H&M merch I have so far. H&M slash Ari merch. I'm obsessed with it. Now let's actually get into the video. <laughs> so before I get into the actual questions, I am just going to prep my face for makeup, you know, using my favorite primer, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I usually put a lot, like this is how much I have on my fingers, which is probably way too much, but you know what? I haven't done a makeup video in so long. I am priming my eyes next with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, and this is in the shade Yogurt, and it's really pretty. And now I'm gonna go do my eye makeup with the Blood Sugar Palette, of course, because I love this palette. I need to clean my brushes so bad. So let's get into the first question. I'm not going in any particular order. I just airdropped the screenshots from my phone to my iPod, so I'm just answering whatever is first. The first question is from Kyla, and she goes, how are you, boo? Well, Kyla, I am doing well at the moment. I hope you are too. Thank you for sending in a question. It makes me happy. There's not really a lot to go into besides saying that I'm doing well for now. This winter has kind of been rough on me because seasonal depression is a real thing and it sucks and I had no motivation to do anything. That was what I was going through and you know just other life stuff. But other than that I'm doing well. We are heading into springtime. The sun is finally shining even though we're having this whole like pandemic going on in the country right now. I'm trying to stay positive about it and you know enjoy the sunshine while I have it and I'm really happy that spring is coming up because that means that summer is coming up and that means that warm weather is coming. I can't wait for that because I am not a winter person. Never have and I probably never will be. The only time I accept winter is when it's Christmas time and then after Christmas time that is when it starts to get really rough. That's just uh how my life is going. I forgot how hard it is to talk and do my makeup at the same time. You know what, we're gonna go in with the shade Coma, this super dark purple. <laughs> Look at that. I really love the new Bloodlust collection that Jeffrey put out. I just cannot see myself ever wearing those shades. I kind of passed on that one, but it's very pleasing to the eye. But I love how he has like a whole collection of like blood sugar and then blue blood and then Bloodlust. It's just very aesthetically pleasing. All right, let's go into the next question. These next couple questions are from Sammy. What's your favorite song at the moment and what's your top three favorite Swifty moments and favorite Swifty memory? Her username is shakeitoffgirl513 on Instagram. So you guys should definitely follow her. If you like Taylor, I'll put her username up here. She always does these projects for Taylor and everything and I know she's doing something for Loverfest. So if you guys want to follow her, you definitely should on Instagram and Twitter. Favorite song at the moment? I don't really know to be honest. <laughs> oh, actually. So my favorite song at the moment is actually Hole in the Bottle from Kelsey ballerini for any of you who do not know i love kelsey ballerini i love it it's so catchy it kind of like sets a different tone for the new album it makes me even more excited because homecoming queen club and la they were kind of like on the slower side like club was a little more upbeat but it was still kind of slow and hole in the bottle is like a full country bop that is probably my favorite song at the moment i'm gonna listen to hole in the bottle while i finish my eye makeup because the question came up It's already empty and it ain't even 
Time. The other question that Sammy asked. She asked, what's your favorite Swifty moment and what are your top three favorite Swifty memories, I think. I haven't really been a part of many moments like myself because I'm not one of those people that have traveled for Taylor and everything. I always love it when it's like release week and people are in New York and they're just like living their best life. That's my goal for the next album to go to New York during release week and just celebrate when you get to go to Target and have like a whole photo shoot in front of the displays and everything that's always fun or even just like seeing her in concert i'm lucky enough to go see her at gillette stadium every single time that she's here because i live in massachusetts and gillette is like one of her favorite stadiums to play at so it's always nice to go to the stadium that she loves performing at she loves gillette it's like a very special stadium to her if you guys didn't know definitely like buying her albums and seeing her on tour that's probably super lame but i'm sure there's way more i just can't think right now because of course my brain doesn't work at this time i'm finally using my real techniques sponge my brand new one that i got at christmas time and it's just so squishy and soft and the other question she asked and what's your favorite swifty memory again probably like seeing her on tour and always getting to see her at gillette because for any of you who don't know gillette stadium was taylor's first nfl stadium that she ever performed at so it was already like kind of special to her because she was doing like a whole arena tour and then she ended at gillette stadium and then for the speak now tour she had the whole rain show gillette was like number one for a little bit i'm so sorry that i can't think properly favorite tv shows so I have quite a few favorite TV shows. I always say my top three favorite TV shows are Jane the Virgin, Gilmore Girls, and One Tree Hill. If any of you guys haven't watched those shows, you definitely should. One Tree Hill is just incredible. I owe it all to my friend Sarah who got me hooked on it years ago. It took me a little bit to get into it. Like I remember I tried three separate times before I could actually like watch the show fully. I was like, you know what? I need something to binge watch. So I finally started One Tree Hill and I loved it. Late in forever. I don't care what anyone says. I love Lucas and Payne together. The so One Tree Hill and Jane the Virgin. I love Jane the Virgin. I watched it from beginning to end. And Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls is so good. Like it's such a cute show. I love that show so much. Other favorite TV shows. Grey's Anatomy. I've recently started rewatching Grey's, which why I have no idea why I would do that to myself. But I have. I love Grey's Anatomy. I really do. <sighs> The new seasons suck. I definitely think that people should watch the show, but it's not really good anymore, but it's still a good show. It's just kind of lost its touch. When I watch it from the beginning now, I'm just like, oh my God, I forgot how good the show was. Alex Karev, the love of my life. I'm so sad that he is no longer on the show. In fact, I'm actually really, really pissed off about how they ended him. If you follow me on Twitter, then you probably saw my tweets about it. I love Grey's Anatomy. Alex, Mark, George. I, I can't. Watching the show again made me realize what I missed. I will say it wasn't until like season 11, season 12 when I kind of got bored of it. Like that's when it kind of like lost its touch like I was saying. It kind of went downhill from there. So yeah, I definitely think the show has to end sometime soon because it's not that great anymore. But I promise you it's still such a good show and it's worth watching from the beginning. Actually, I'm already on season two of Grey's. Madison Montgomery, she is played by Kate Walsh. She was um Derek's wife. Like re-watching the show I completely forgot about how much I loved Addison. I think after I'm done I'm gonna finally watch Private Practice. Like your hip-hop class could wait i promise that's ariana's tweet okay other tv shows i watch i'm still obsessed with you um that show on netflix i started watching that show when it was on lifetime it got canceled on lifetime and it switched to netflix instead and i finally finished season two and <laughs> show's crazy it's definitely much darker than gossip girl another tv show that i've been like obsessed with lately it's like my guilty pleasure tv show and i also tweet about the show a lot it's also on lifetime it is a reality show of course it's called married at first sight my mom and i watch it and i'm obsessed the drama is always there these people literally meet each other at the altar for the first time like they're literally married at first sight it's just a really good show this season man it's a good season it's like insane. What are you most looking forward to this year? You know, if this country can get this whole coronavirus thing situated, which stay safe y'all because a lot of crazy is happening. This whole thing gets situated. There's quite a few things that I am looking forward to that I'm hoping is, you know, not gonna get canceled. One of them being Loverfest, obviously. I think I briefly went into it. This is a story time. I'm gonna bake my face and then I'll explain it because not to make excuses, but I can't talk and do stuff at the same time, apparently. I'm obviously looking forward to Loverfest because as you guys know, I love Taylor and I'm just always my happiest when I see her in concert. It makes me worried. Hopefully that's 
still goes on. So as I mentioned, I always see Taylor at Gillette Stadium. I live in Massachusetts. A few months ago, I went to New York for my friend Kaylee's birthday. And I remember months before, like when I was still planning the trip with her and everything, I was talking to my mom about it. My mom was like, well, what do you want to do for your 21st birthday? Me and my crazy ass, I was just like, I want to go see Taylor Swift on my 21st birthday. And my mom was just like, really? And I was like, yep. That's what I want to do. Literally, I'm not one to really like manifest things. Like I'm not really the greatest at it, but this was like a big moment, okay? So I said that. Then a few weeks later, Loverfest gets announced. My birthday is on August 2nd. Taylor is going to be at Gillette Stadium on August 1st, which is the day before my 21st birthday. I'm not saying that it's a sign, but I'm just really looking forward to it because I have a feeling that it's going to be a really great day. If I don't ring in my birthday, being stuck in traffic after Loverfest, then I'm going to be very upset. I'm also looking forward to going to Nashville. Finally, I'm finally going to Nashville. I'm so excited about it. We are going at the end of May. Hopefully coronavirus will be out by then. Um, trying to stay positive, you know. I'm not really the greatest at it. Obviously, I'm gonna vlog that for everyone because I'm so excited. Nashville and Loverfest are like the two main things going on this year that I'm really, really excited about. So that is what I'm looking forward to as far as the year goes, if this stupid virus will go away. Stay safe, y'all. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is anything that's pasta. I'm obsessed with pasta. Any specific type of pasta, I really love chicken alfredo. Today's March 15th. I literally haven't gotten my brows done in like a year at this point. I think last time I got my brows done was just before I saw Ariana, which was last March. They always look like sh I kind of just give up at this point. What's your least favorite Ariana and Taylor song and why? For Ariana, I was trying to think about this. Least favorite Ariana song? I don't care is coming to mind because I never listened to that song. I'd say it's kind of a tie between I don't care and hand on me hands on me. Those are probably like my least favorite because I just never listened to them. And no offense, but I don't care is just boring. And it's short. Like the only time I liked listening to it was on the Dangerous Woman tour. So sorry. And then my least favorite Taylor song right now, Paper Rings is probably my least favorite Taylor song. It's not that I don't like it. I always skip it. Yeah sorry. Jack asks, what's your favorite eyeshadow palette? So my favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment is my blood sugar one. This is honestly my favorite palette from Jeffree. It's amazing. I highly recommend this palette to anyone because it is just so good. And he also asked, who are your favorite singers? Besides Taylor and Ariana, Kelsey is definitely one of my favorite singers. I love Kelsey. Her new album actually comes out next week. What's today? Sunday? Yeah, it comes out Friday the 20th, which I am very excited about and it's also payday so I can buy it on iTunes and I can also buy it in store. That's my thought process. I kind of need a new album to listen to over and over again in my car because right now it's Lover and I keep switching it between Lover and Thank You Next but I need something new. I also listen to Maren Morris a lot. She's coming to Boston in June and I really want to try and see her if I can because I haven't seen her before. I love Dan and Shay. Obviously Megan and Liz like we all know that I love them. <laughs> These next few questions are from my friend Emma, which you actually saw in the Megan Liz vlog that I posted back in January or the end of January, sometime around there. She asked, what are your favorite spots to visit in New England? I do live in Massachusetts, always in New England, all day, every day. I mean, I love Boston. I love being in Boston. Boston's probably one of my favorite places to ever be. Like, And I also love being in Providence too. I don't know. I'm originally from Rhode Island, so I'm actually from Bristol, Rhode Island. I love going to my hometown. It's always nice to like go back there and also Bristol it has the biggest celebration for the 4th of July which is always really fun like that's what my hometown is literally known for a bunch of people always travel down there especially at the 4th of July they have a whole carnival going on they have concerts leading up to the 4th of July like two weeks before and everything it's just a lot of fun being down there especially during that time hella traffic because it is a small town I think it's fun I mean I don't live there anymore so I don't have to deal with that stuff but a lot of people visit my town too because I live right near the Cape so it's not really a winning situation. I also, I haven't been in a while, but I love going up to Old Orchard Beach in Maine. I used to go there all the time actually for the 4th of July. So yeah, that's always fun. I also love going to Plymouth. As much as I complain about living here, we do have some pretty nice places. It's kind of boring around this time of year, but as soon as summertime comes, it's, you know, a lot of fun. What are you most excited for your Nashville trip? So Emma just got back from Nashville. She's been a few times. So I've been like asking her a bunch of questions 
questions about it. One thing I am excited for, it's not in Nashville, but it's near Nashville. It's actually in Franklin, Tennessee, but Megan and Liz, they actually have a store now. They have like this whole boutique and it's called Epic Rain. I'm so excited because when I saw them in Boston, I was just like asking them, I was like, well, where should I go in Nashville? And they were just like, well, do you know where you're staying in Nashville? And I was like, no, not yet. And they were like, well, you should just come to Epic Rain. And I was like, Okay, I don't know, maybe in the vlog we'll see Megan and Liz again. I'm excited to go though, just to like support them and see the clothes in person because I haven't really ordered anything from them online just because I'm poor. <laughs> so the Opry, I'm trying to plan a show to go to the Opry. The only thing is we land in Nashville on Tuesday, the 19th. I think it's on a Tuesday and Dustin Lynch is gonna be performing at the Opry. Part of me is just like, I don't wanna just, you know, go to the Airbnb and go back to the Opry. I just love Justin Lynch's music and I think it would be really cool seeing him at the Opry. But then there is this other show, which I think is either on Thursday or Friday, one of those days. There's no one that I really know that's performing so far. So I'm just trying to keep an eye on it because the Opry is definitely such like a staple in Nashville and I just want to like, you know, it's the Opry. If you love country music, then you should definitely go to the Opry, right? Country Music Hall of Fame, I'm definitely going because Taylor Swift obviously. Those are like the main places that I'm like really excited to go to. You'll have to wait for the actual Nashville vlog. We're gonna be there for like five days, so I mean we have a good chunk of time to do stuff. Not too long before I am in Nashville. And speaking of Megan and Liz, someone asked what's your favorite Megan and Liz song? So this one's actually kind of hard because there's so many songs of theirs that I actually love. The first one that comes to mind is Karma's Coming Back For Me. Basically anything on their Simple Life EP, which was released back in 2014, and honestly still to this day I think that's like some of their best work like it's still my favorite thing that they've ever done like the entire Simple Life EP is so good that's when they kind of broke out into the country scene they're doing more pop music again and Karma's Coming Back For Me is like one of my all-time favorite songs from them actually if you watch the vlog from when I saw them in Boston it was really funny because I was able to get on video when the twins were like oh well what song would you rather hear Karma's Coming Back For Me or Old School Love and then they were like wait we're gonna do a vote well who wants to listen to Old School Love and then dead silence. I actually remember right after that my friend Janie was right next to me and I was like Janie I was just telling you about how much I love that song so we'll stick with that but I also love Take Me. Take Me is probably one of my all-time favorite songs from them as well because that was like when they were going back into pop music. They found their muses. They realized that music was what they really wanted to do. These next few questions are from Abby. The first question is what makes you the happiest? I think just like being with my family and everything that definitely makes me the happiest. When I have something to look forward to that obviously makes me really happy. My life is so boring that whenever I have something to look forward to such as Nashville and seeing Taylor It just it makes me really excited. Also lately just like the Sun which sounds really weird again As I mentioned in the beginning I was like really struggling all winter because seasonal depression has been on my ass It was the worst like this was probably the roughest that it's hit me. It was just not fun So definitely seeing sunshine like it is perfectly sunny outside of my window right now It was warm like it's actually starting to get warmer out. I think today it's like 55 degrees which again when you live in Massachusetts that's like summertime <laughs> at least right now my serotonin levels are slowly getting higher she also asked what is your favorite album by Ari it's definitely a tie well no actually no it's not a tie Sweetener is my favorite album by Ariana so funny because when Sweetener first came out it wasn't my favorite album like I was still like oh my god Dangerous Woman is still her best and even when Thank You Next came out I was just like mm, Dangerous Woman but listening to it again I love the Sweetener era her comeback era that was just everything. I'm not saying that I want her to go on like a long break again and never talk to us but it was just like so like refreshing seeing her come back and do music again. So definitely a sweetener just because I love the era and then she also asked what's your favorite song by Ariana? My favorite song gotta think about that one. What is my favorite song? I have so many favorite songs from her, God. I think my top favorite songs is definitely No Tears Left to Cry. Again, the whole Sweetener era was like my favorite thing in the entire world and I think that's why I love Sweetener so much because whenever I listen to it, it brings me back to like that era. I love No Tears Left to Cry. I also love Every Time. I love Get Well Soon. I really want to get a Get Well Soon tattoo. So that's one of my all-time favorite songs from her. I can't choose. I'm gonna keep naming songs. I love Needy. Her entire discography 
free is my favorite. We're just gonna stick with that. But those are like some of my all time favorite songs. What is your dream place to live? So I was thinking about this question. Honestly, my dream place to live, and I only say it because it's a dream. My entire life, I always thought that I would like end up in Los Angeles at some point in my life. And I still kind of do. I really picture myself living in New York City at some point, like in Manhattan somewhere. I visited New York twice last year. Like I went in September and I went in December. And every time I leave New York, I'm just like, okay, hey, well, when is the next time I can actually be here? I would love to live there. I don't think I could ever see myself living in New York City full time. The city is definitely very chaotic. That is definitely like somewhere that I would love to live one day. Um, even if it's just like part time, like if I'm always going back and forth from like Massachusetts to New York, even better, like Massachusetts to New York to LA. I don't know. I kind of just picture myself in like a Taylor Swift world where I'm living in multiple places. Sammy actually asked me more questions. She asked me questions on Twitter this time. What's your favorite vlog you ever filmed? Honestly, I think like every single vlog is kind of special because for the most part, I'm filming something that's like an exciting day in my life or whatever. But I think my favorite vlog so far is my Sweetener Tour Boston vlog. That was when my friend Kaylee visited and we met for the first time and I got to see Ariana and I mean I saw Ariana twice. My sweetener tour vlog from Mohegan Sun was definitely a lot of fun as well and that's definitely one of my favorites but I don't know like the Boston vlog I feel like I got better content if that makes sense. I really love my sweetener tour Boston vlog like I actually watch it a lot. <laughs> I love Ariana and actually five days today's March 15th in five days it's literally gonna be a year since that sweetener tour date. Insane honestly like I can't even believe it but I don't know I have a feeling that my Loverfest vlogs and I say vlogs because I'm still committed to somehow being there night one but I have a feeling that that's gonna be better so we'll see. What are some of your favorite YouTubers? So my favorite YouTubers at the moment I still watch Shane and Jeffrey all the time. I watch a lot of ASMR YouTube now. Some of my favorite ASMR YouTubers I watch Karuna Satori, I watch GB and also I mean I watch my friends on YouTube a lot like I love Kaylee's videos, I love Amber's videos and I love Sophia and Gina's videos when they do post of course. I just like watching my friends on YouTube you know but those are some of my favorite YouTubers, some of the past YouTubers that I watched all the time. I've been starting to watch Gabby a lot lately, I watch Alicia a lot still, all of like the beauty people I still watch a lot. What are your top three favorite Disney movies? I actually just finished watching Frozen 2. Like they added it on Disney Plus today. I was watching it while I was setting up to film and everything. One of my all time favorite movies, I love Aladdin. Aladdin is like one of my favorites ever since I was little. Um, I love Mulan. I watch Mulan all the time still. I'm gonna say something that's not like a Disney princess movie. I love Monsters Inc and Toy Story. I know those are four movies, but those are definitely my favorite. And then the last set of questions I have from each then he literally dm'd me a bunch if you could learn any language fluently what would it be honestly probably portuguese because i am portuguese i took portuguese as a course when i was in college last year i sucked at it so bad the entire year that i was in college i literally lived with my portuguese grandparents and i still to this day cannot talk to them in portuguese which is kind of sad. Obviously, there are times when I can like understand what they're saying to me and everything, but I can't have like a full conversation with them because I don't know Portuguese, but like everyone else in my family does. What is the one food that you would never give up? Going back to the Portuguese thing, my vava, she makes kanja, which is a Portuguese chicken soup. It tastes amazing. When I lived with them, I always made her make me that soup. Like I remember my very first week in college, it was like some of the hottest temperatures ever. Like it was the last week of August and every single day it was literally 90 degrees and I made my vava literally make my favorite soup and I was sweating while I was eating it. I was eating the soup and like drenched in sweat but I love it that much that I literally ate it when it was 95 degrees out. I could eat that for the rest of my life honestly. Those are the last of the questions. I am going to set my face with my Morphe and Jeffree Star setting spray. Here we go. It's such a fine mist. I love it. All right, guys, those were the end of the questions and now my face is all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was interesting or entertaining to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Again, make sure to watch my last video, which was my morning routine. And make sure you watch till the end for that because I announced my whole giveaway and it ends on April 10th and you should definitely enter if you haven't. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!